Hey everybody, Dwayne England, Team Podski Pro Staff, out here on the waters this morning, what, 22, 23 degrees? 23, yeah. Brad Wagner, Bobberdown Guide Service. We're actually on the Upper Columbia uh, Pateras area, which is just, just below the mouth of the Methow. The bridge is back up there in the fog, you can barely see it, but we're out here on one of Brad's winter run fisheries, going after winter run steelhead, and even though we're on the larger Columbia River type uh, area, this is a bobber and jig fishery. Bobber and jig, and we're gonna run 16th, eight ounce jigs. We're gonna tip them with some shrimp. Try a couple of different styles of jigs. A couple different colors of coon shrimp. Some, yeah. some good shrimp and some some west side. Some, some marginal shrimp and uh, interesting. We'll see little, how we go. <laughs> little head to head competition. We're on Brad's home waters, so I got my work cut out for me. But uh, I did bring some of my west side coon shrimp. Now, Brad, you get your shrimp from a grocery store, yeah. frozen. And uh, some some uh, areas of the nation are considered Arctic prawn, just based on the size. I put information out there a couple years ago. All these different pink shrimp, coon shrimp, coon striped, Arctic prawn, yeah. it comes down to size of shrimp. So if uh, we look in here on these shrimp, now we got a few different colors uh, with the orange and the blue, pink, purple, and red. Now, the smaller ones are considered a coon shrimp. These uh, medium-sized ones almost classify as an Arctic prawn. And the interesting thing is, they're all cured with Potsky products, of course. Yeah. But you like to use, you like to use uh, some fire cure yep. along with your nectars. Where over on the west side, I more often use the Baraxo fire. Yeah. So I stay away from the sulfites on my steelhead. You like to use the sulfite base up here? How come? I do. They they seem to like them better. They like the they like the sulfite. They they cure up a little harder. I get a little better a little better longevity out of them. Right. I get. It really aids in the color, and then I, I put a bottle of nectar in to try to match the color, and then uh, split it up with a little bit of firepower. firepower. You know, just a little, little bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a couple of shakes of firepower, and a couple of a couple of good shakes of uh, fire cure. There you go. And let it sit there. So and pretty 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 similar in our methods. Colors are pretty pretty close. A little different in the hotness of the sauce. We'll see yeah. which one works best. Going to tip our jigs with some coon shrimp. Okay, so basically we take our coon shrimp out here in the Columbia. We're just going to break the heads off, toss that over. Uh, to tip this jig, pretty simple. I'm just going to put it right through the meat, pull it right back through there. Just let it sit on the jig. I like to pull the knot to the back side so when that hangs in the water, it's going to be pretty much uh, horizontal. That's it. Here we're doing the same thing. We're going to take the head off, throw it in the river. I put mine on a little different than Dwayne does. I just go right sideways through the meat, right like that. Try to leave a little hook showing so when they grab it, I get them stick. Once again, bend your bend your line straight, and when that thing's sitting in the water, you got a nice horizontal presentation. Maybe with a little spin to it and a little wobble. Bob her down.